I'm going to take a look at this pier rig. Uh, it's not the sort of rig you want to cast, but it's ideal for dropping down the pier um, or a little gentle lob or even use it from the boat as well. So it uses these booms, three wide booms. One, two, three. You're going to need 50 pound main line for the rig. You can use 25 for the snoods. Six beads. We're using aero beads today. You need a swivel, that's the one to the main line. Rig clip for the lead and some power gum. You start off by cutting off about a metre or so of the rig line and then tie on your top swivel. Uh, generally make these swivels a little bit larger or use slightly larger ones oversize always moisten of course and take your booms these are little wired booms a little bit of spring to them and they've got a swivel on the other end there so thread down first thing you need to thread down is a bead and then you just thread the line straight through the middle of the boom there's a nice uh, wide bit for that to go through shouldn't be a problem and then you want to put beads either side of those. We're going to do the power gum in a minute, so you don't need to worry about putting on anything to clamp these swivels on quite yet. I think my eyesight's getting worse. Right. And then obviously you want to tie on all three. You can do them all in a row. We'll clamp them on in a minute, just to make sure you've got everything in order. So the order will be bead boom bead and then bead boom bead bead boom and then a bead I don't always put a bead on the boom that I'm going to tra trap next to the lead onto the power gum uh, really easy power gum knot we've got a video at the end of this one but it's just five turns along and then form a loop and five turns back and tighten it up uh, you can moisten this uh, and then obviously you're going to need to clip it as well probably a bit easier with scissors rather than these nail clippers because they've got a bend on them uh, and then you want to basically just go along the whole rig and tie in the booms uh, where you want them like that and now that'll actually slide because you're using the power gum so put one right near the weight and then I put one right up the other end uh, near the swivel for the main line and then one halfway along so equidistant really so the advantage of this, uh, particularly if you've got a little bit of run on the water, is it will take the hook baits away from the main line. Um, not a bad rig this one for black bream actually. Now the last thing that we need to do is just tie on the hook snood itself. Three snoods, we're going to use two O hooks, uh, depends on the species you're fishing for obviously. But we want to make those, they don't need to be too long because the booms are going to take them out, but about six inches. And as long as they don't um, snag with the one below, so the knot we use is five turns through the loop and that should work perfectly well for 25 pound or, or even 30 pound line and there we go there we have it ideal for piers real simple rig bit of a beginner's rig not great for casting but ideal for dropping down the pier sides